Number 97. Answer the following questions. And then we have letter B. Is the density of the gas in the hot air balloon shown at the opening of this chapter greater than, less than, or equal to that of the atmosphere outside of the balloon? So now we just have to pay attention to um, basically the balloons that are flying, right? Now, think about think about this in, is in an analogy of the ocean, right? When we think of swimming... And when we can float, right? Remember, water has a density of one. Now, anything, so let's just say that I have a rock, right? Look at this lovely rock. If I throw a rock in the ocean and it sinks, that means that the density of the rock was greater than the density of the water. However, if I have a rock that is not sinking and it can float on the water, that means that the density of that rock is less than of that of the water. Now think of that in terms of these balloons. If the, if the atmosphere has a certain density and these balloons are able to go up and up and up and not you know, they're not, you know, bogged down to the floor and they're allowed to elevate. What do you think is going on with the density of the balloon? If you said the density of the balloon was less than that of the atmosphere, you are absolutely correct. So the density here would be less than the atmosphere. Because they're not you know, uh, down to the ground. They're not bogged down to the ground. They're allowed to ascend. And going higher and higher and higher into the atmosphere just means that they're less dense, so they can climb higher. And that's basically everything that you need to know for this one. Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Letter C is coming up, so hang tight, and I will see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, bye-bye.